Hello, it's Markham and Taurus Chief from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be creating this wonderful tree using a free add on called M Trees. There's a link in the description. From here, once you've opened it up, we click on code and we click download zip. Come over into Blender, we go edit, preferences, we're going to install, locate our add on, and just simply click install. M Tree will appear, give it a tick. Let's get started. As always, let's delete that default cube. I'm just going to press Shift A to add in a new mesh, and we're going to add in a plane. And I'm going to scale that out, and that's going to be our ground. We don't need to, but let's just put in a ground. From here, we're going to click here, and we're going to split this window in half, and we're going to change the editor type to M Trees Node Tree. From here, I'm going to click on New, come over here to the right hand side, and select M Tree, and I'm going to change the default preset over to Alt Oak Tree because it just looks nice. Let's click the Load Preset button. And let's zoom in a little bit. So from here, if I just simply press create tree, it creates this wonderful tree, but I want more. There's no leaves on here. So the next thing we do is we go shift A down the bottom here. I'm going to add in a node and we're going to add in a twig node. And let's just plop that in there. We don't have to connect this one. From here, I'm just going to press execute. And now we've got some wonderful leaves down here. I'm just going to press G, Z and move this down. Over here on the tree parameters itself, I'm going to enable create leafs. And then with the eyedropper tool here, I'm going to select our leaf. And now if I go update tree, bam, we've got wonderful leaves. Now, if I go into rendered view, it looks terrible because there's no lighting. So let's add some lighting. I'm just going to delete the default light in there. I'm going to press N and I'm going to add in dynamic skies. There's a link in the description on how to use dynamic sky. This is another free add on. So let's enable that and let's just create. I'm just going to jump over into shading and we're going to change from object into world settings and change the world to dynamic one. And now if we go back into layout in rendered view, there we go. We've kind of got this wonderful, nice lighting here. However, the material on the trunk is a little bit yuck. So let's select our tree itself. Let's click append materials. Let's come over into the materials section and in the drop down, we don't actually have any materials for the tree trunk. First, we got to go append materials. Now we select our tree trunk again, come into materials and we're going to select oak. And now I've got this beautiful tree trunk here. So I'm going to press scale that down just so it's all together. Now, if we want to give it a bit of a root system, let's just grab these two nodes, move it off to the side. I'm going to press shift A nodes, root nodes, and we'll plop that here. And let's just connect the branch node to the root node. And now what we got to do is update tree. There we go. And now we've got this cool root system down the bottom. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go scale 0.15, just to make that tree a little bit smaller. Now that we like this tree, let's get rid of this window and let's select our camera. I'm going to press numpad zero to go into this view and let's just readjust the camera. And one last thing before we render, let's select our branch down here. I'm also going to scale that by one, 0.15 there we go now let's press f12 and this is what the tree looks like bare bones with using the physical starlight add-on and the scatter add-on links in the description now to be fully transparent i do have affiliate links for this so if you want to support the channel and you want to get these add-ons make sure you click on the links below you can create something quite simply like this gorgeous now if you really like this video support me please just hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, share it with your friends. And if you want me to expand on this technique, please let me know.